I've had three GoPros over the years, and the latest one, the Hero 7 Black, is really cool and has some interesting features that I want to explain and demonstrate to you. I didn't used to think of myself as a GoPro kind of a guy. I always used my big DSLR camera for all my videos. And I still do for certain shots these days, but you can definitely consider me a GoPro fan now, especially with the improvements that they've made on the Hero 7 Black. The biggest improvement is with the image stabilization. The Hero 7 Black has GoPro's best image stabilization. They call it Hyper Smooth. And let me give you a little demonstration to show you exactly how it works. One of the things I've learned in all of my travels is that one of the most difficult travel videos to get is out the window of an airplane at takeoff or landing. An airplane shakes like crazy, and so the camera shakes like crazy, and you end up with horrible, shaky video. You're looking at video I shot four years ago with a pretty decent camera, a Canon 70D DSLR, we're pulling onto the main runway at LAX here, and watch what happens when the pilot gives it full power for takeoff. The plane starts shaking, the camera's shaking, and we end up with horrible, shaky video of the takeoff. Just watch for a minute and notice the shakiness, and then in a minute I'll show you a similar shot done on the GoPro Hero 7 Black, and you'll see a big difference. So, shooting video of an airplane takeoff using a DSLR handheld was my first mistake. It resulted in really shaky video, and I need video that's way smoother than that. My second mistake was thinking that I could solve the problem by buying a little camera called a DJI Osmo. It's kind of like a GoPro, but mounted on a gimbal. The gimbal keeps the camera stable no matter how much your hand shakes. Here's a video I shot with the DJI Osmo about a year ago on a flight out of San Francisco. It starts out nice and smooth, no shakiness, but as soon as we start moving down the runway, the gimbal starts to get very confused about how to stay level with the horizon. Look at how the gimbal just totally ruins this shot for me. It's smooth video, I'll give you that. The airplane was shaking, my hand holding the gimbal was shaking, but the gimbal smooths all that shaking out and the shot itself is smooth, but it's just horribly, incorrectly aligned with the horizon, making this part of the video pretty much useless to me in a travel video. Now, once we get into the air, the gimbal figures it out, and we start to get some pretty decent video, finally. Okay, that brings us to the GoPro Hero 7 Black with Hyper Smooth. No gimbal. All I do on an airplane now is mount the Hero 7 onto one of these to make it easy to hold it. Now here we are at LAX again. This was just the other day at the start of my most recent trip. Take a look and see what you think of this takeoff video. The airplane and the camera were shaking like crazy, I assure you, but the Hero 7 has some very advanced technology to stabilize the video electronically rather than mechanically like a gimbal does. Now, you see that there's a little bit of me losing alignment with the horizon. It's just impossible to stay perfectly aligned when the airplane is shaking so much, but I think you'll agree that the camera does a pretty good job at giving us stable, usable video here. 
The engineers at GoPro really did a great job with HyperSmooth, and I love not having to use a gimbal in an airplane now. Now there's another cool innovation on the Hero 7 Black that I want to demonstrate to you, and it's also quite useful for travel videos and airplane takeoffs and landings. It's called Time Warp. A time warp video is a lot like a time lapse video, only you don't have to use a tripod or any method of locking the camera down to keep it steady. I've made a lot of great time lapse videos in my travels. This is one I shot in Key West, Florida from our balcony on the Norwegian Pearl cruise ship. I shot this one with my Canon DSLR mounted on a tripod. Keeping the camera steady is absolutely critical for a good time lapse video when you're shooting with a DSLR camera. And that brings me to Time Warp using a GoPro Hero 7 Black. With a Time Warp on the GoPro, you don't need a tripod to make a good time lapse video. You're looking at a Time Warp I shot from an airplane in Cancun, Mexico the other day. I was simply using the GoPro Hero 7 Black handheld from my seat in the airplane. And as the airplane was shaking, my hand and the GoPro were shaking too, but the Time Warp feature combines the GoPro's hyper-smooth technology of electronic image stabilization with a time-lapse feature. So instead of needing to put the camera on a tripod for a stable time-lapse video, the GoPro's hyper-smooth stabilization makes sure that the finished video appears steady, even though, in reality, my hand and the camera were shaking like crazy. It's really quite advanced and a very useful feature for travel videos. Now, that last time warp was shot at five times the speed of real life. Here's one I shot at ten times speed. This is the same airplane flight as that last video, only now we're getting ready to land at the airport at Denver, Colorado. So that's it, a little demonstration of two great new features on the GoPro Hero 7 Black, Time Warp and HyperSmooth. Now before we wrap this up, I want to make sure that you understand that there is a little bit of a trade-off when you shoot travel videos on a GoPro instead of with a DSLR. Basically, I'm going to show you why I don't just sell off my DSLR and do all my videos on a GoPro. There are two reasons, really. The first is that with a Canon DSLR, the right lens, and a $150 gadget known as the PZ-E1 Power Zoom Adapter, here's something that you can do with a Canon that a GoPro will never be able to do. A professional-looking, smooth zoom-in or zoom-out. That was from my vacation in Cancun. And then here's the second reason I'm keeping my Canon. Here's another video I shot in Cancun with my Canon. Beautiful shot, right? Now, at the exact same time I was shooting this, I was holding my GoPro Hero 7 Black right next to the Canon, shooting the exact same scene on both cameras at the same time. Here's what it looked like on the GoPro. Now, here's the Canon again. And here's the GoPro again. 
the Canon was on a tripod, and the GoPro was handheld, so you've got to give it up for the GoPro for the great image stabilization, but the overall picture quality from the Canon was quite a bit better. Now, maybe if you're watching this video on a phone or in low resolution, these two shots might have looked the same to you, but in HD on a good quality monitor or television, there is a huge difference in picture quality visible to me. So I'll keep my Canon and my GoPro and bring them both with me when I travel because each can do things that the other can't do. I'm Jim Zim. I do a lot of videos about cruise ships. I do a lot of videos about model trains. And every now and then, I like to do something a little different like this video. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of it. Right now, I'm going to put up links on the screen to a few of my best travel videos. Click on one that looks interesting to you and I'll show you some interesting things I've seen in my travels.